got into the car on a warm August day in 2006 and realized that my life was changed forever. For the last eight years since I've been diagnosed with scoliosis, I've been on a journey. This journey isn't just about wearing my brace for 20 out of the 24 hours of the day. It is about battling the numbers. It is about doing everything that I can to stay off that hospital bed just coming out of surgery. I go into every appointment with my doctor saying to myself, have I done everything that I can? Scoliosis is about being in control, and at the moment, I have the upper hand. My journey started at my seven-year-old physical. After the doctor got the height and weight from the scale, she began the scoliosis test. I took my shirt off, bent down, and waited for the doctor to proceed with the examination. She took the scoliometer to my back and paused. It felt like years before the doctor said anything. She did the examination three times before calmly asking me to step out of the room. I was worried. I kept on thinking to myself, was something wrong? I walked back into the room and everyone was quiet. Even I knew something was not right. The trip to the scoliosis doctor in New York City was just as expected. I had two major curvatures in my spine, one in the lumbar and one in the thoracic. Both were 28 degrees. At the time, I was devastated, but most of all, I was defeated. I became different from everyone else. I was the one that needed special care, special treatment. I was the one that needed to be patted down in airport security lines. I was the one that needed to sit in a chair when everyone else could sit crisscross applesauce. But my dad always says to me, Max, your brace holds your back, not you back. And I constantly live by that phrase every day of my life. I don't let the different aspects of my life change who I am as a person. After I take the x-ray in the New York City doctor's office, the doctor's assistant, Sandra, puts the picture of the x-ray on the computer. After she leaves, and I have to room with myself, I have to say, imagination is definitely a killer. Inside that doctor's office, there have been so many times, so many imaginary moments that I've worked myself up about. Scoliosis is constantly teaching me to have a strong mind and enormous amounts of patience. Because in my most recent appointment, I have received the news that I've been waiting for for a very long time. I will never have to have surgery on my back. Scoliosis is the biggest lesson in my life. I look at myself and I see resilience and perseverance. I do not feel bad for myself. Scoliosis teaches me to push through obstacles and embrace challenges with open arms. I, don't, I do not look at my scoliosis as me being subdued or conquered, I look at it as a chance to prove to myself that if I work hard to a goal, it will pay off in the future.